Doria is bought as a wedding gift for Daenerys by Viserys, intending her to serve as a handmaid. Doria tells Daenerys a story of the origin of dragons. She says that there used to be two moons in the sky until the second moon wandered too close to the sun and cracked open, spilling a thousand dragons into the world. Her story is dismissed as nonsense by Danny's other handmaidens, Iri and Jiki. Daenerys asks Doria's advice on how to please Khal Drogo in bed and Doria tutors her in the sensual arts. She also shows Daenerys how to use her sexuality to establish herself as someone worthy of Drogo's respect. Doria pleasures Viserys and tells him that she has always wanted to see a dragon. She points out she once saw a man who could change his face like clothing, and a pirate covered in gold who flew colorful sails. Viserys is initially amused by the discussion, but sours when it reminds him of the destruction of his house at the hands of the usurper. He forces Doria to finish pleasuring him in silence, which she does enthusiastically. Daenerys sends Doria to invite Viserys for a meal. He takes umbrage with being commanded by a slave and beats Doria before dragging her through the camp to confront Daenerys. Viserys's temper and inability to control his sister lead him to confront Drogo. Doria stands protectively in front of Daenerys as Viserys threatens to kill her if Drogo does not deliver his promised crown. Drogo feigns acquiescence and then kills Viserys by crowning him with molten gold. Doria is part of Daenerys's retinue as she inspects the markets of Vise Dothrak. She is present when Jorah Mormont foils a wine cellar's attempt to poison Daenerys. The narrow escape convinces Drogo to swear that he will invade Westeros for Daenerys. Doria remains by Daenerys' side as the Colossa raids Lazar to obtain slaves to finance the invasion. Daenerys insists the Dothraki refrain from raping the captives and Doria watches as Drogo easily defeats a dissenting warrior. After Drogo's death, Doria and the remaining Dothraki watch as Daenerys walks into the flames of his pyre with her dragon eggs. In the morning they find her with three newly hatched dragons. Doria and the Kalasa kneel and renew their fealty to Daenerys.